Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Master Computer Science Subject. Question here is, construct shift reduce parser for the given grammar and also explain the conflicts in shift reduce parsing. So this is a given grammar. From the given grammar, we are going to derive the string. And for this grammar, uh, we are going to construct the shift reduce parser which parses this string. Right. Before that, we just discuss the conflicts, then we construct the shift reduce parser. There are two types of conflicts with respect to shift reduce parser. Shift reduce parser is bottom up parser. So always a parse tree is constructed from the strings to the root of the parse tree. The two types of conflicts are shift reduce conflict and reduce reduce conflict. We will understand these conflicts with an example. Okay. Now, the stack is empty. Input buffer contains the string A, B, B, C, D, E, dollar at the end, which indicates the end of the string. So now the shift reduce parser has to parse the string. When it sees A, it shift the A onto the stack. So shift A. Right, so A is shifted onto the stack. Now the remaining string in the input buffer is B, B, C, D, E, dollar. Right, now A cannot be reduced because there is no production rule in the grammar uh, such that A can be reduced to some non-terminal. So what is the next possible action the parser can perform? It can perform only shifting the B. Right, so let us shift B. So once the B is shifted, the stack contains A and B is available at the top of the stack. The remaining string is B, C, D, E, dollar. Now, whether B can be reduced or another symbol is to be shifted, that we will see now. When we look into the grammar, from the grammar we can come to know that A derives B, there is a rule. So B can be reduced to A. Okay, now the question is whether this B is to be reduced to A or this B is to be shifted. The parser also gets confused. The way we think, the parser also thinks in the same way. So B can be, let us reduce B to A now. So let us use a rule, reduce by rule A derives B. So now the stack contains A. This B is reduced to A. The remaining string is B, C, D, E, dollar. Again next. This B is to be shifted. That is the only option we have because the stack contains A, A. There is no rule which reduces A, A alone to some other non-terminal. So the only option what we have is this B is to be shifted. So shift to B. Dollar A, B. The remaining string is C, D, E, dollar. Right. Now we know that this B can be further reduced to A. Whether this B is to be reduced to A or C is to be shifted onto the stack. That is a doubt. If B is reduced to A, the top of the stack contains A, A and the non-terminal A. But instead of reducing this B to A, if we shift this C onto the stack, there is a possibility that later A, B, C put together can be reduced to A. We don't know which is the right choice. Such type of conflicts are known as shift reduce conflict. Shift reduce conflict. This is the best example for shift reduce conflict. Here I have given the definition. Every SR parser, shift reduce parser can reach a configuration knowing the contents of the stack. At the same time, it knows what are the next input symbols available in the input buffer. But the shift reduce parser cannot decide whether to shift or reduce. Now, let us consider the same grammar. I do a little modification in the grammar. S derives A, A, B, R, B. A derives A, B, C, R, B. B derives D. Now, let us try to derive the same string A, B, B, C, D, E. 
so what happens initially stack is nil empty input buffer contains a string a b b c d e at the end of the string we have dollar the first symbol is to be shifted onto the stack so let me write the parsing action as shift so dollar a right so now the input buffer contains b b c d e dollar next also we can perform the shift operation where the b is to be shifted now the stack contains a b b c d e dollar okay now look into the grammar whether this b can be reduced or we have to shift the symbol that is one question and if at all we decide to reduce b b is to be reduced to what symbol whether b is to be reduced to a or whether b is to be reduced to yes so it's a conflict that which reduction the sr parser has to make this is known as reduce reduce conflict because sr parser shift reduce parser at this moment cannot decide now whether this b can be reduced to a or the same b can be reduced to yes okay now i'll explain the definition sr parser knowing the contents of the stack as well as it knows what where in the input buffer it cannot decide which of several reductions to make such conflict is known as reduce reduce conflict okay now let's construct the shift reduce parser for the given grammar and uh, we parse the string also a b b c d e right so when we manually try to construct the shift reduce parser uh, we also come across the same problem shift reduce conflict and reduce reduce conflict so in order to avoid in order to avoid the manual mistakes while writing the table first we do the rightmost derivation of the given string then we construct the table that will not lead to any confusions so i'm going to derive the string using rmd rightmost derivation so let us begin the derivation from the start symbol yes start symbol has only one option or alternative a a b in this production rule i have to choose the rightmost variable so now this b can be replaced by d in fact so let us replace it by d then only leftover variable is a now a has in fact two options we have to choose the first option then only we are able to derive the string right so a can be replaced by a b c d e finally the leftover variable is a this a can be replaced by b now a b b c d e so let me write down the rules here in this case a is replaced by a b c at the next instant a is replaced by b that is why we obtained the string okay in the previous step b is replaced by d right now since we have derived the given string using the rightmost derivation there is no confusion uh, in showing the parser action right so stack input buffer and the last column is parsing action so using the shift reduce parser concept we are going to parse the given string so the string is available in the input buffer dollar is the end of the string stack is initially empty so this is rmd right let us follow this rmd in reverse order so from this step to the previous step what is a change this b has to be reduced to a isn't it so till then whatever the symbols are there needs to be shifted onto the stack so first let us shift a so stack contains dollar a input buffer contains b b c d e dollar next we have to shift b also so dollar a b is at the top of the stack b c d e dollar is available in the input buffer so now this b is to be reduced to a so reduce by the rule a derives b so what will happen here dollar a this b is to be reduced to a 
the remaining string is b c d e dollar what is the next action to be taken if you follow from this step to this step what is the difference this entire a b c is reduced to a correct so till the c whatever the symbols are there in the input buffer are to be shifted on to the stack so shift b that is the next parsing action so stack contains dollar a b input buffer contains c d e dollar next parsing action is also shift shift c dollar a a b c now the input buffer contains d e dollar now what is the action to be taken if you follow this rightmost derivation in reverse this a b c is completely reduced to a so right here reduce by rule a derives a b c so now the stack contains a this entire a b c is reduced to a d e dollar now what is the next action to be taken this d is to be shifted shift d so dollar a a d next in the reverse process this d is reduced to b so reduce by rule b derives d so what is there in the input buffer it is nothing but oh sorry e dollar because d is already shifted right so dollar a a now this d is reduced to b e dollar next action taken by the parser is shift shift e now the stack contains a a b e input buffer is empty as of now it reached the end of the input string now this entire a a b e can be reduced to s yes. so reduce by rule s derives a a b e so now the stack contains dollar entirely this is replaced by s yes, dollar when the parser reached this configuration what is this configuration the stack contains the start symbol and uh, input buffer becomes empty it has reached the end of the input string it means parsing is successful i hope you would have understood this so when you are trying to parse a string using the shift reduce parser to avoid the confusion over here while building the table first to write the rmd and just follow this rmd in the reverse steps hope you have understood if any doubts are there please comment in the comment section thank you